everybody. How are you? Y'all, I'm coming on. I've got a couple things I want to show you and tell you about. <coughs> the first thing is uh, today um, we went and picked up medicine and uh, done a few business uh, meetings in Concord. And uh, I told my husband, I said, I want to go by the dollar store up there. So he took me. But I want to show you what I found because, you know, this was kind of thrilling to me. I found the Heidi Swap uh, Sentiments. And this has Ready or Not, Reality Check, King, uh, Fun, Wow, Hilarious, Awesome, and Epic. And they're in the blues and the greens and the light greens. And so I got two packs of those because I do like some sentiments that's on there. Okay. I picked up Soft Spoken. These are memories. And this was not the Dollar Tree. This is the Dollarama. I think that's what it's called. Dollarama. Anyway, this is from Soft Spoken. But look at these. Aren't those gorgeous? And they're the black, white, and gray. And memories, remember when, you and me, and then the little flowers. I picked up two packs of those. And, let's see if I can put them over here. All right. Uh, the Sticko stickers. Uh, 22 pieces in each pack. But I found the snowmen. Aren't those adorable? And, you know, we always talk these can go on into the winter. So, I got those. I found these, and this was a lot of sentiments. Anyway, friends make me happy. These are my people. Good times, best friends forever. Rad, coffee, talk, shop, repeat. Life was made for good friends and great adventures. I got two packs of these. Is those not gorgeous? Love them. Okay, I got those. Now, this is another sentiment. But it's laugh, giggles, so funny, laugh, L-O-L, good times, laughter is the best medicine, hilarious, and you crack me up. On certain things, these will be just gorgeous. So, I got those sentiments. Okay, now, I found two of these happy birthday tags, and they are gorgeous. I say tag stickers, I'm sorry, but aren't they beautiful? So, I got two of these to use on the birthday cards. I found this that would work perfect back in it. Aren't those cute? The, the macaroons, but don't they look Chris, uh, Christmas birthday-ish? You know, and they got some of the bows and some of has got the strawberries on top. So, I think those are just cute. So, they'll work back to these. But then, and this is, these were the only packs they had of any of these. I found these candy stickers. And I thought that would be cute on a birthday card. Just gorgeous. So, I got those. And uh, I'm going to keep those for my birthday stash. Okay. Uh, I love doilies. I like paper doilies. I like my cutout doilies. I like the doilies like you just buy. But I found... Um, well, can't find them. Huh. Hang on, girls. Have you ever bought something and then hid it from yourself so well that you can't find it? And usually I don't hide things that good. But this time, I've hit them pretty good, pretty good. And I will run back across them one day. <laughs> it might not be in this century. It might be next century. But I will run back across them. Huh. Okay. have no idea what I've done with them, girls. None. Okay, but anyway, let me go on. I got these dollies that looks like snowflakes. Aren't they gorgeous? I got two packs of these that's got those dollies. Isn't those beautiful? So I was thrilled over this, y'all. I was really thrilled. Okay, then what I was looking for, I got it over here. I found these paper dollies. And y'all know how I like to use the paper doilies on top of my packages and, you know, uh, staple them, decorate them up. But look at these. Aren't those sweet? 
and I don't do a whole lot of Valentine's, but these, just the hearts, they can work back for anything, so I love those, and each pack's got 20 in it, and they're 6 inches, so I got two packs of those, but is that not just cute for a dollar? Okay, now, I also grabbed a pack of these, and the reason I like these, these are different than the ones at Dollar Tree, if you can see the design there's a little bit of difference there and i love these i buy both types but i like these so i got both types there to use on the doilies now when i was there when i'd done the giveaway um i'd put the cinderella book in there and the cinderella things well i had watched a uh, life of patty and one I, I told her i could not wait to see what everybody comes up with but one of the things that they're doing is going to be, a, I think, a three-weekend collab. But it's going to be the Disney princesses and, you know, whatever else you want to do. But, you know, I think they're asking for princesses. Or I think she said Mickey and Minnie will be okay, whatever. But anyway, it made me think when I was there at the Dollar Rama. Look at this. Not Dollar Rama, do Mighty Dollar. <laughs> Is this not gorgeous? This can be cut out and used. It's a children's book. But it has got some of the most. I'm not going to show you every page. But I just want you to see. There's Ella. Isn't she gorgeous? But y'all this can be used. For cutting out. Making shadow boxes. Uh, cards or anything. Look, 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 look at this. Is that not a beautiful picture? So I got two of these. To be able to use because a couple of the pictures I really love is on the back of picture I really love. So, and then I thought this one right here would be right in my alley to use that one. But the cover can be used. The back cover can be used. Is that not beautiful? So, that's something else to think about. You know, sometimes it's hard to find certain things, but these little cheap books, you know, the fairy tales, another way to use something. And then you can take it and make it your own. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. One more thing I picked up while I was gone. Trina Gina from, uh, uh, <laughs> she's going to hurt my butt. <laughs> Gina loves to craft. My sweet Gina's birthday is the 26th of this month. So I got her some stuff I'm doing and fixing for her. And then Trina's birthday is this month, too. So... I wanted to get Trina something, and I found her something. Let me show you what I found. Okay, this is the box. You open it up, and there's some green. You can take this part off and use it. This this can cut out. Okay. It's, it tells you all about what different types of these they make. But I found Trina... I, Gina had told me that Trina absolutely adores uh, the little fairy garden things, uh, fairy sets and stuff. But look when I found her. Is that not gorgeous? It's got the chairs, the table, the tree, a uh, little, uh, yeah, a little grill. Uh, this has got the beds, the couches. Is that not absolutely stunning? Y'all, I seen it, I was like, okay, I know what else I'm doing for Trina for her birthday. And that, when I seen it, it hit me, I was like, yes, yes, that will work. So, that's one part of Trina. So, Trina, if you watch this, you just seen one part of it, but you didn't see it all, so I'm good. <laughs> but that's one thing that I just, I, I had fit over. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I got two of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with the second one yet. But, like I said, we got that while I was shopping today. And I, uh, uh, was Tammy from Tammy's Creative Cards and Crafts. Tammy, uh, of course, I told y'all she's doing a challenge. I've done the VR for her challenge and everything. And she's asking for ATC card. Okay, so is, uh, Suzanne Noco, and that's Crafty, Crafty Sue 519. Okay, so both of them wanted... ATC cards. I done ATC cards, but when I sat there and got through with their stuff, I was sitting here playing around a little bit. Okay, y'all, 
uh, you know, the ATT C card is the size of a baseball card. That's, you know, most people use one of those to measure. Well, these are 2020 leftover calendars. They're Christian calendars, cute as they can be. I didn't want to throw all these away, and I have got a stack of them that my mother had found after 2020 was over with. But I told her, I said, don't throw those away. Give them to me. So what I have been doing is taking, I cover the front and the back, and then finish out my ATC card. So y'all, if you come across some of these, don't throw them away. Tell them, say, I'll take them. Because that right there is your ATC card, and it's the perfect size of um, your uh, one, two, three and a quarter inches high, and you're two and a quarter inches wide. So it's the perfect size. And like I said, that just thrilled me because I was like, okay, there's my base. All I have to do is cut out the front, cut out the bottom, and it's thick. It makes it real thick because, you know, those are almost like a plasticky, heavy duty card. So um, that's how I've been making my ATC cards. And I had some uh, Dollar Tree stickers that I had took and uh, colored a little more with the um, stickles. And y'all see, I've got a whole bunch sitting over here on my desk, and this is what I use. And I got more in that tray, but I love stickles. And glitter glue is the same as stickles. It, I mean, it's not as sticky, you know, uh, the stickles aren't, but glitter glue can work the same. And I have used both, and I've got both. And so what I did, did do, <laughs> I took um, the Dollar Tree stickers, and I have showed y'all before how I colored them. And then used my diamond dust on them and make them my own. So these are those cards I just showed you covered. And these are the stickers from the Dollar Tree that I colored, stickled, and diamond dusted. And this is another one. But you see how gorgeous they turn out? And they're simple. Now, this is not what I sent the two girls. This is completely different. But, I uh, um, also had made up a package to go out to a friend, and I'd done the same type of thing. But, this is what I was telling you. I used those doilies. The ones like I just bought. Doilies make beautiful toppers. This is one of those tags, and it's just stickled up to high heaven. And it is gorgeous. I made a card, an ATC card. This is how I package it. So when they take their card, the envelopes on the back, everything out, they can use that. But they'll still have the background in this. And this is stapled on. And I keep everything where they can peel it from the back. So when they peel it, take everything out. They still got this. that They can make something else and pass it on to somebody else or keep it, you know. But that's what I've done there. So, it's a great idea. Now, those cards that are like the almost 5 by 7, and in fact, I think they're like 5 by 8. They're a little bit bigger. I took one of those, and it's like a, a, you know, where you can decorate the front and leave the back, where you can write on, like a postcard. Okay, this is what I've done to it. This has got uh, three layers plus... The two doilies, I split a doily in half, put one on each side. I added the pretty flower there, a butterfly, and then right here I have dream. But y'all, this right here takes those and adds a bunch of dimension and makes them just gorgeous. But using your doilies, it's another way. And sometimes I put them at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom. It's just according how I want it. But this, my envelope was wide enough. I can put this in there without having to fold anything. And when I send paper or cards like this, if I've not got something that'll cushion them when they're going through the mail, I will put something on them to kind of cushion them. That way, uh, y'all seen earlier, my mail had got pretty tore up on that one card, but I always try to put a piece of, a, you know, just a piece of paper or something to protect it on top if you've got anything sticking up that way it won't catch in the machine and if they're too complicated I always put on it uh, 
I'll ask them at the post office to stamp them uh, to not go through machine. You know, no machine, please. So I have done that. But anyway, I just wanted to bring you a couple little ideas and that little haul and show you what I have found. And, uh, you know, girls, you never know what you're going to find, what you can use. And uh, I'm getting into now that um, I, want, I wanted, I have a Hobby Lobby haul. I have this. But now I'm, I'm more comfortable with what I have to craft with. And that pretty much made me happy. So, you know, just look around. Look around. It, you will be shocked at what you can find to create with and craft with. You know, you can take the least little thing and make something beautiful out of it. And I'm talking about something gorgeous that anybody would be happy to display or show. So, anyway, that's it. Hugs, love, kisses, God bless you as always. Sleep with the angels every night. You know I love you. Mwah. Bye, darlings.